Please welcome CEO Jerry Johnson. Obviously, a little bit too much wine has been served at table 18 tonight. <laughs> so I'm humbled to be up here receiving this award on behalf of EMC tonight. This is especially true when I see all of the honorees and the finalists being recognized by, recognized by Twin Cities Business. So congratulations to all of you, and thank you to Twin Cities Business and the sponsors of the event as well. In Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers, Gladwell describes three essential things that companies or individuals must attain to be, in order to be, achieve higher levels of success than they otherwise would be likely to achieve. First, having adequate experience and practice in the things you do is critical. Gladwell makes the case that 10,000 hours or about five years is what you need. One example he cites are the Beatles who toiled for years in Hamburg dives before they were discovered. They did a lot of hard work before they got on that stage and hit the Ed Sullivan Show. EMC has now been in the lighting system conversion business for 11 years. And back then, my business partner, James Beck, who started the company, referred to our competition as trunk slammers. People who would show up, change lights, now you see them, now you don't. Fortunately, for us, technology advances and more complex control needs have eliminated most of those folks from the competitive landscape. So EMC has clearly earned its stripes over those years working on major lighting projects for Fortune 500 uh, firms. The Best Buy project highlighted in the Twin Cities Business Magazine is only one of many such major projects <clears throat> that, we have been, uh, that we have successfully completed. The second element that Gladwell outlines is the element of luck or being in the right place at the right time. A few years earlier in his life, Bill Gates may have not been in a situation where his DOS operating system would have been attractive to uh, IBM. At EMC, we are fortunate to be at the, the epicenter of what I like to call a lighting tsunami. In fluorescent and especially light emitting diode or LED product introductions. In fact, there have been more lighting advancements in the last five years than in the previous 100. How many people know who invented the light bulbs? No, contrary to popular belief, Thomas Edison did not invent the light bulb. That distinction goes to Sir Humphrey Davies, who developed the incandescent lamp for miners in coal mines in England back in the early 1800s. Those lamps only lasted a few hours, though, to go into the mine and come out. It took almost 100 years for Edison to sweat his way to a design that would last for hundreds of hours and then thousands of hours. So another 100 years past that, here we are, with an aisle full, if you've been to Home Depot, aisle full of lamps, of products to choose, than only a few short years ago where you'd have a rack of incandescent lamps. At EMC, we're lucky. We have a team of engineers that uh, will sort through the myriad of prod products that have been introduced and hitting the market today. I can only feel for the average consumer when you try to go in there and try to find that LED lamp to put in your sockets or your uh, uh, lamp choices at home. And that choice is only going to increase in intensity and cost competitiveness going down the road. While still expensive, Prices for LED products are dropping like a rock, and their performance is advancing at breakneck speed. The closest analogy I can think of is Moore's Law in computing, or if you watch our computers, that uh, would be doubled in performance and caused, cost half every 18 months, and that has progressed. It's truly mind-boggling what's going on in lighting these days. Like computers, the best is yet to come uh, for LEDs and in lighting. Actually, many have attributed some of the lighting's, lighting savings for a good share of the uh, reduction we've got in 
foreign oil dependence we are now experiencing. So thank, thank table 18 for lower gas prices you're seeing at the pump. <laughs> Being in the midst of this lighting tsunami is one of the most exciting things I can really think of, except for maybe cell phones and the internet. Uh, it, it is truly exciting, some of the things that are happening. People are bringing to market sheets of light printed on a sheet of mylar that will give you all kinds of color options, be able to fold it wherever you want. Really exciting developments coming in the way of lighting. I'll turn this off so you don't need to see that. Down the road, these pinpoints of light will actually become like plasma cells printed on a film where we will be able to disperse light in any direction and any intensity that we want, at the color temperature we want, when we want. Whether we're inside or outdoors, our human circadian rhythms will be delivered. And it really doesn't stop there. Lighting circuits are now beginning to double up as communication ports. So if you walk into a store and you have that mobile app on your phone, there will be a communication port coming from lighting that identify where you're at in the store so you get the best deal, maybe the thrift store, <laughs> to find that best deal in the store right on your app. They'll be able to pinpoint you within feet of where you're at. And that's not down the road somewhere, that's going to start this year. Finally. Gladwell asserts that the right combination of experience and skill, plus a willingness to take risk, must be present to seize the opportunities that come your way. At EMC, we've worked hard to develop a culture of teamwork, going the extra mile for our customers, and continuous improvement in everything we do every day to make the best of our chances at becoming an outlier company. And we're not afraid of taking on calculated risk. Uh, the team we have at EMC is really why I'm standing up here tonight, so I want to recognize them at table 18. Hands down, you guys are the best. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, I'm not suggesting in any way that people compare us to the Beatles or Microsoft. I can't sing. Obviously, I can't hardly talk. I, I got uh, kind of crazy at a wild game. That's why I had a little trouble on the videos. And we're far from it. but. We do have some of the elements that Gladwell so eloquently described in his book, and who knows, maybe the next time we're recognized for an award, it may be for a big company success story. <laughs>